Hi, how are you doing today? Welcome to another video. This is Mr. Chow from EnglishTuition.org. I have not been doing a video for a while, um, but uh, in today's video, since the end of year exams are coming up, uh, I want to go through some of my top uh, revision tips that I have for the students and hopefully you will find them to be useful. So, let's start with tip number five. Try to start your revision early. Right, because starting your revision late will lead to unnecessary stress and anxiety. So sometimes you may not even be able to finish your revision due to a lack of time because you start so late. Uh, also remember that do not start too early as you may end up forgetting what you have revised. So if you start your revision in June, so by the time you get to September, October, you have forgotten what you have revised. So when is the ideal time? To start revising for an exam well that depends on the individual but a good rule of thumb is to start around one and a half to two months uh, before the end of your exam right so you're still you know, attending lessons in school and you know in tuition and you are still learning new materials right and uh, you want to leave a good amount of time for you to be able to consolidate the materials okay and then revise all the topics and that means starting the revision before the start of the September term break. So the September term break is actually uh, not a real school holiday because most of the students are busy revising for the end of the year examination, which typically starts two to three weeks after the holidays. And tip number four, try to consolidate your notes. Now you may be busy with school, CCAs or other activities and your notes may be in a mess, right? You are just chucking them, you know, in your bags, in your, in your cupboard, on your study table, they are everywhere, all right? So now is a good time for you to consolidate your notes before you even start your revision. So for example, you may have notes from school and your private tutor. So uh, combine the notes to ensure that you don't miss out anything important during the revision. And if you are missing some notes on some topics, now is the time, right, to spend some time hunting for them, right? Where have they gone, right? They've been chucked somewhere, right, in a file or something. Okay, but if you seriously cannot find them, you can always borrow the notes from your friends and make copies of them, right? So that's why it is a good idea to start your revision early so you have, you know, more time to prepare for this sort of unforeseen circumstances. And tip number three, always have a flexible revision plan. So some students may ask, is it really necessary to have a revision plan? Well, the simple answer is, of course, yes, you do. Right? The plan, however, doesn't need to be perfect and doesn't have to be so rigid that does not allow you to uh, work on or, or that does not allow you to be engaged in different activities. Right, for example, you may have a revision plan from uh, Monday to Friday and the weekends are your off days, right? But something came up on Wednesday, like for example, your mom insists that you help her shop, you know, do her shopping and help her carry the groceries. And as a result, you didn't end up doing any revision on Wednesday. So you can always make it up by setting up the extra one or two hours okay, to revise on Saturday on Sunday so that you complete the revision for the week. So without a proper plan, you are just uh, bumping around, trying to do your revision randomly. You won't know what you have revised and what you have not revised. So that does not give you, you know, the feeling that uh, you're fully prepared for an examination. What do you miss out? You won't know. Have you completed your revision? You don't know, right? So having a plan is necessary for you to remove you know, a certain amount of anxiety so that you are better prepared for the examination. So come up with a flexible plan and make sure you stick to it as much as you can, right? Not exactly 100% rigid, but as much as you can. And tip number two, manage your study sessions. What do I mean? Well, research shows that a student's concentration falls off significantly if he studies for over two hours at one shot. So the concentration differs from person to person. Right. However, the research is true for most students. Right? Some may be able to concentrate for an hour, some an hour and a half, some for two hours. 
right? But roughly the average is around two hours. So spending four hours does not necessarily lead to better results. In fact, after the first couple of hours, students may just you know be daydreaming or they are not uh, absorbing the materials at, at all, right? Maybe they are even listening to music and then they find their concentration drifting away, right? So the trick is to always take frequent breaks, right? So after about one and a half to two hours, get up, have a drink, walk around the house, uh, watch some TV even if you want to, right? Watch a short YouTube video, take a 15 to 30 minutes break to recharge, okay? And then continue your revision. But make sure that, you know, these are really proper breaks. And after your 15 to 30 minutes break, you must ensure that you go back to your revision. And you will find that overall, you're more productive and your revision is more effective. And the number one tip that I have for you here is you can always try to consult others. So remember that you are not alone if you are seriously intending to do well in your studies. There are people around you who are willing to help you if you are sincere in learning. These people include your parents, your teachers, tutors like myself, and even your friends. So it is common to miss out on some materials during the school year and this is the time to start catching up. So when doing your revision, don't waste time getting hung up on topics that you don't understand. Note down some questions and consult others. Doing this will surely accelerate your revision. So if you have noticed in this video, there's this uh, you know, animated graphic of a rocket flying around. Uh, that's intended to symbolize that I hope your results will skyrocket. Lame joke? Lame joke? Yes, of course it's a lame joke. Well, this is Mr. Chow signing off. I hope you've enjoyed the video and you find this uh, video to be useful to you in some way. Right? Don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe and hopefully I will see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.